I spent 180 bucks on this shirt. 180. Just kidding. Just kidding. Come on, who do you think I am? I DIY'd it for $4. Mm. I'm so glad that you're here. Welcome to the DIY Designer. My name is Orly Shani. Today we are going to be doing reverse tie dye three ways. I'm showing you how to perfect the graphic reverse tie dye tee, the all black spiral, and of course the galaxy tee. These are so incredibly simple as long as you follow my directions exactly. And I mean that because there are some really bad tutorials out there. I watch them myself. I hate to say it, but man, I mean, they're bad. They're just not even, it doesn't even come out looking cute. I was like, what is the deal with this? Anyway, it made me feel the need to create this one. So like I said, we're gonna be doing a graphic tee. I'm gonna show you guys how to protect the graphic so that it stays pristine as my Adidas one. I'm gonna show you how to leave just enough black so that it looks like you've literally tie dyed in really crisp, sharp black. If when it's done and you're not loving all the colors, I'll show you really easy ways to tweak it and bring out all the colors you really want. The other one we're gonna do is this spiral. Now this is very elusive. It took me a lot of trial and error to figure out how to perfect it. There is one very, very important thing that you must do, so make sure that you watch it. As long as you do that, Guys, it's gonna be perfect. I can't wait to see all your versions. And then the last one is this Galaxy T. This is super simple and easy to do. It's really all just about how much color you want, where you want those colors, and we'll talk about all of that. I use a powder dye called Jacquard powder dye. I did link it down below. The one thing that's nice about the powder dye, aside from the fact that the colors are really vibrant, is that when you get to the point where you might be wanting to finesse and fine tune and tweak your colors a little bit, the powder makes it really easy to do that, and you'll see that in just a minute. You do not need the toilet bowl gel bleach that everyone's doing, squirting it all over their clothes. No, no, you need regular bleach and just a splash. And then you of course need some gloves. I recommend using like dish gloves because even the little regular like small latex one, things get inside, the bleach gets inside, you don't want that. But otherwise that's it. I think this is my favorite, or maybe this, or maybe this, I don't know, I can't decide. Okay, let's get right into it. So here are the powder dyes that I have linked below. You can see I have the full rainbow, but of course you could do just primary colors and mix to get the rest. Now, based off how saturated you want it, you're either gonna do the full amount, which is two tablespoons, or you can cut it in half to get more of a pastel look. Totally up to you. Okay, so this is the reverse tie-dye one we're doing. Of course, you can do it on a graphic tee or not a graphic tee, that's up to you. Now, this is my Adidas tee. It is 100% cotton and it's already been washed and it's still damp. That's very important when you're uh, doing this is that it stays damp. Now, I always do my front face down because I notice that you get the best spiral and the best fold on the side that's facing down because of the pressure against your surface. So I'm just sort of spiraling it, twisting, pinching the middle, twisting, using my left hand to flatten it so that everything stays really, nice and flat and tightly wound up. Once I get it wrapped up, I'm gonna use my rubber bands and kinda just pizza slice it so that it's all one nice clean disc. You can see there, the front is nice and flat. Now this is the part that's really important, guys. A splash of bleach. That's literally all that you need, a splash. I'm now taking my shirt and I'm just sort of rubbing it across the bottom to pick up some of the bleach. I'm gonna flip it and do the same thing. Now because my shirt is wet, right, it's already damp, it's gonna absorb some of the bleach into the folds of the shirt. This is really important for this stuff but obviously the opposite of what we wanna do for our sweatshirt later on. So you can see that there's some areas here that are still black that weren't supposed to be black. So I just dip my hands in the bleach and I kind of rub it on, basically painting in anywhere that the bleach did not hit that I do want it to be. Now I'm gonna rinse it clean. This is the this was trial and error. At first I thought I'll rinse it clean and get off as much bleach as I can so that I can dye it while it's still spiraled. After having done it, I really recommend just throwing your shirt in the wash, washing it completely so the bleach is gone. Because what you'll notice here is as I start to add on my bleach in kind of a rainbow color, it the bleach like eats away at some of the dye because there is still some bleach on the shirt. I had to keep adding more and more and then even when I washed it, a lot of it faded off because again, there's still bleach on the shirt even though I rinsed it clean. So what you wanna do is once it's dyed, after about a half an hour, you wanna open it. Not only does this let you see if the colors work, which you can see it does, but you can see my graphic has dye on it. This is when you wanna to get to it before it has time to seep in. It's not gonna accept as much dye because obviously the material of the graphic is gonna repel the dye, but if you let it sit, it will seep in. So grab a towel, clean off the graphic so that you don't get any dye seeping in there. Now see, this is what it looks like when it washed. It was super faded. I mean, I did use kind of pastel colors, but really the issue is that there was still bleach on the shirt. 
So no problem. All I did is re-spiral it and re-dye it. So I opened it up again because I obviously want to make sure I can get to that graphic. And when I opened it, I didn't really like how strong the pink looked and like the green. Those were two colors that were really strong and I didn't love it. So this is when it comes down to the final tweak. You can see after I washed it faded and really what we're seeing is pink and green. So my shirt is damp. My paintbrush is dry. My powder is dry. What I'm going to do is buff yellow into the pink and the green. And look what it's doing. It's not only turning my pink into orange, it's bringing my pale green into a bright green. It's also giving me yellow. So it's adding in three colors. It's adding in orange, yellow, and green. This is allowing me to buff it in and buff it in and really bring out those bolder colors that I wanted. So again, if your tie dye at first does not look like you want, don't worry, you can always add it in. But this is part of the reason the powder is really good. You can see there I'm adding in blue to create some purple and blue. Uh, the powder is really important because with wet dye, it wouldn't have, you wouldn't be able to perfect it this way. We're buffing it in, buffing it in. This really creates the perfect color. Okay, so this is the galaxy one we're gonna do. Obviously you can see this style is really cool. Some shirts are super expensive. We're gonna take a crack at it. Now, this is just a black t-shirt that I have. I'm sorry about the lighting. I don't know what happened there. I thought it would be cool to only do the galaxy look on the top and leave the bottom half plain. So basically I scrunched up the top. Again, my shirt is wet because I just washed it, it's damp, and I just scrunched it and rubber banded it. I'm leaving the bottom half totally plain, and now you can see I'm, again, with that splash of beach bleach that was left over, I'm basically just like rubbing my shirt into that bleach. This is what it looked like at first. It wasn't enough, I wanted more. So, no problem, I re-scrunched it, re-rubber banded it, and just rubbed it in the bleach again, giving it a second pass. Now I'm rinsing it clean. This I did at the same time as the last one, so I didn't really learn my lesson that I should wash it first. So you're gonna see the color I get here, I'm gonna end up with a pastel version of all of these colors. I actually liked the way it looks, so I left this one, but you can see right now I've got all these really bold colors. The colors are really strong, they're really pretty, and generally with this dye, what you see is what you get. But because of the bleach, it does fade it quite a bit. Remember how colors mix, right? So I put purple in, which I didn't like, and if you add yellow, it turns it into brown. So for me, I actually liked that. So I ended up mixing a lot of purple and yellow, trying to create brown, and this is what it looked like when it dried. It was really pastel-y, which I liked, but I wanted to add in a couple more pops of color. Again, if you want really bold colors, you're gonna wanna wash your shirt after you bleach it and then dye it. Hey, let's move on to this one. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. All right, so very important things here. Number one, you wanna use a sweatshirt. Number two, that sweatshirt needs to be 100% dry. I'm talking no moisture at all. When you spiral it, it's gonna be hard to keep it in place because it's dry and it wants to spring open on you. So just kind of straddle it and keep it in place while you put your rubber bands in place. One of the reasons it's important that you use a sweatshirt is that the fabric is thicker. So each of the spiraled folds are gonna be thicker, which means you're actually gonna have less of them, which creates this very distinct look. Now, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just doing a splash of bleach, that's it. This is an important change though. When I dunk it, I'm letting it drain, let it drain. Let the bleach drain out of it before you flip it upside down. You're gonna let it drain for at least 30 to 40 seconds so that that bleach does not go back into the folds of the sweatshirt. We only want bleach on what we're looking at. Anywhere that you have black that it didn't actually get bleach, instead of redunking it, use your fingers to kind of paint it in. This again is gonna allow you to keep the right amount of bleach and not redunk it and end up absorbing even more. You can see how quickly the color is being affected. I put it in the sun and within 10 minutes, I had this really bright light pink color. Now it's ready to do the other side. This is another difference, right? I'm doing one side at a time. Again, letting that side drain out, let it drain out, then flip it and start to paint it on. The other version, because it was wet, it also absorbed more. So this being dry, look at that. We've got a crisp, clean, perfect spiral. Literally all that got bleached was what was facing us. It didn't absorb or spread through the rest of the shirt. That's why you want dry and that's why you want a sweatshirt. Now my camera didn't record this, but you can get a sense of it now. Basically all that you're gonna do after you wash your sweatshirt, right, you need to wash it, is lay it flat and like a snow cone. Wherever you want color, you squeeze the color in. So for me, I did that light teal color in the middle, then on each of those spirals, I moved out to my medium blue, then I moved out to my purple. So it's literally like what you see is what you get. Wherever you want the color, that's where you put the color, squeeze it into place, make sure that it has time to dry. I like to leave these a full 24 hours just to really give them the time to dry and fully absorb that color. But other than 
than that, that's it, you guys. We are done. Let's take a look. Isn't it so good? I'm so excited. They all came out perfectly. Now, like I said, as long as you follow the directions, exactly, it will work. The most important thing for that spiral is that the sweatshirt is dry. 100% dry, you wanna dip it, you wanna let the bleach run off, not back into the sweatshirt. That's how you get that really crisp line. If you notice at the end that your colors aren't exactly like you want, you saw that you can buff it in with the dry powder on a damp shirt. That brought in all this gorgeous yellow, orange, and green. It really brought those colors out, whereas before I felt like I had a very two-dimensional shirt. I hope that you guys like this. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel. I do new videos every single week. Next week is a crystal fringe video which is amazing and I'm so excited screenshot your phone or your computer whatever you're using this on and share it with a friend that you think might enjoy it all right I'm gonna show you what all of these look like done and I will see you guys here next week have a great week